So you got into zombie waves just like I did and you're really having fun and you want to know what's like the best survivalist compendium to select as you're leveling up in each game. So today we're going to do is we're going to talk about the differences of the basic skill and as well as advanced skill. And then we're going to rank this up as well. And we're also going to talk about different playing style within the game. So a little background about me getting into the game. I like to make my contents a little bit more personal in here. So for me, with this game, I really enjoy this. I actually found this back in 2023 when this game first launched. Honestly, when they were selling Jill Time back then, it was 20 bucks. So there's a lot of changes that they have done within the game. Now, if you guys don't know me, since I am definitely new to making roguelike games, my name is Shinchi42, and I really enjoy mobile games in here. And I am living in the United States. I am actually from the Philippines, but I'm Chinese as well. All right, so there goes my introduction. I hope you guys can introduce yourself, how you found Zombie Waves and where you are from, and how many hours do you play within the game and also what chapter you're in. I know there's a lot of questions in there, but you know, I just want to get to know who's watching the content in here. And also don't forget to hit thumbs up because you know, it's going to help out the content in here as well as the community. The community is quite small and hopefully we can grow this together. I really enjoyed this game. It's really fun and it's great pastime. Sometimes I'm watching TV, I'm playing the game or when I'm editing, I am playing uh, around here on the game in here. All right, first let's talk about the differences between basic skills and as well as advanced skills. So for simplicity in here, basic skills, you're going to get four skills in that specific type. And in the advanced skill, you're going to get five skills. Basically, you're going to have like an ultimate in here or these elite drops. Now, don't just scratch basic skill just because it's named basic. Basic skill provides a lot of damage and really good supporting skills to allow you to succeed within the game. Honestly, some of my favorite skills are coming from the basic skills. So with that being said, Understanding the basics of this is very important, knowing what type of basic skills you got equipped with you and how you're going to pair your equipment to whatever skills you're going to be building on. All right. Now, first thing that we're going to talk about is everyone's going to have different weapon specialty. So right now I am really specialized more in assault rifles and I, I really like the sniper rifle in the beginning. Now, if you are playing in the beginning, I would recommend if you're working with your AWP, the sniper rifle, you are then going to want to work on a light type. Now, light type, what it's going to do is that you're gonna have this smite. Every time you reload, you're going to deal damage, which is really good. Now, as far from that, I really only pretty much like this one at the end of the day, the smite. I, I have to break down every weapon to you to explain why, but for the basic of this video, I'm just gonna tell you that the first one is really good then you can avoid some of the other ones in here but because you can build a much better skill base onto your setup that you're gonna do every game now the next one i would say that is really good here is the damage type i always get the damage type which is going to be the fragmentation i really like that and then the dead death reap as well because it's going to allow penetration and then you're also going to get like extra damage as well when you have damage type in here the shock type is really good for um if you're playing with the vault gun with the lightning it's really good it's the perfect complement for that one and then the sight type i always have this one now too because it increases my range if i have nothing else to select i'm going to get the sight type it gives me that withering glare and then also increasing my attack range as well and then the slayer type this is one of the best ones because it is going to help you to eliminate the big bosses or the elite bosses right so if i'm going to rank this from let's say uh, we'll just rank this to one to five my number one probably the best out of here i would go and select the um the damage type all right the damage type number one if i'm going for bolt gun and uh, i would say shock type will be number one because you really need the shock but i would say damage type and i would go for slayer type and then shock type and then i would say side type and then light type the general idea that i'm giving you right now is what i think is my opinion that is the best uh basic skills in here but again it depends on what weapons you're working on it's very hard to just say hey this is the ultimate best but in general idea the damage type is really good the fragmentation is very good it will help you clear out mobs with this one slayer type is going to help you to eliminate the bosses so those are my criteria for the basic skills now let's move into the advanced skills all right so now you are going to get into the juicy part there's freeze type hp type pickup type move speed type 
fire rate type, numerical type. All right. Fire type, reload, Aegis type, dark type. All right. That's a lot of information. All right. The thing that I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to dilly dally in here. All right. The best in here, advanced skills, the best one is going to be for me is the freeze type. The freeze type can work with any guns. It will work so nice. It will work with your AR. It will work with sniper rifle. It will work with rocket launcher, shotgun. It will work. Just, it's just going to work really, really well. Freeze type, I think every game you need to have. All right. The HP type, you don't really need the HP type. Um, why do I say that? Because if you um, have a good foundations of skills, you're not going to worry about, hey, am I going to lose HP, right? Because if you're constantly like getting hit, that means your skills are bad and HP is not going to help you to clear that stage, all right? You want skills that will help you to clear stages. So HP type is not one of the best ones in here that I can tell you right now, at least in my experience. The pickup type, I don't like to get the pickup type. I would rather get the HP type rather than the pickup type. The movement speed type, I, I also avoid this one. This is, again, I would rather go for HP rather than go for the movement in here. I don't like the movement type as well. Uh, the movement type, this vortex, it's kind of kind of silly because it's not really going to... It doesn't really work as how it's supposed to uh, go. Now, the movement type can be really good if you're doing daily trial and you're doing the apex trial. That, I can say it's a good one because you can rush towards to the, um, to the end of it. All right. Now, the fire rate type, this is something that I really like. One of the biggest reasons why I like the fire rate type is because at the end of in here in the elite, you're going to get two projectiles. Really, really helpful, especially if you're trying to eliminate a boss. You have to combine this with the slayer type as well and then have the extra projectile. It's going to help you to kill that boss so much faster. The numerical type, I typically just like to go with the double barrel in here. Sometimes if I am using a sniper or AWP, right? Um, or maybe a shotgun or perhaps something that has low ammo, then I will work on to the Coupe de Grace and then as well as tail gun. And then, you know, I'll get, I'll get the full thing in here. Um, it really depends on what weapon you are. If you're doing vault gun, I don't really recommend getting the Coupe de Grace. You know, I just go for the double barrel unless I have no other options to select. The elite drop for the uh, numerical type, it's not something that I look forward into. If I get it, I get it. If I have no choice, I will get it, but I try to avoid it as well. The fire type is really good. It works really complementary with the Volt Gun because you're going to work onto the Lightning. As you get into the Elite Drop, this Overload is going to work well with Lightning and as well as your Burning, right? As you can see over there in the description. Like I said, it's a bit quick, so I would just go and refer into your game as well and read the details as well. The fire type is really good to control mobs. The Meteor is really good. I like this one. I am trying to complement this now with my uh, Volt Gun in here. Also going to do some fire damage onto the opponents. You'll see that little burning sometimes. But the game is so fast, you won't even notice it. Now, Reload Type. This is also very helpful. I would often do Reload as well. And this mini clip is really, really good if you are playing as, you know, a Sniper or maybe a rocket launcher. You want to have this mini clip. If we're doing Volt Gun, you want to avoid this uh, reload type. Any AR, HMG, you want to avoid that one because it's not going to help you at all, all right? You want more ammo instead. So in that case, I'm trying to find the skill that was going to give you uh, ammo and fire rate, which is surprisingly, it's not in the compendium. Uh, I thought everything would be in the compendium. There are some skills in here that are not in the compendium. There's also the lightning damage that gives you 100%, which is also not in the compendium. I thought it would be here. Unfortunately, it's not. Now, the reload type is good. Um, it's not a bad option to get within the game. All right. Now, Eiji's type. This is really good as well. I like this. A great compliment with the Volt Gun. I am playing with the Volt Gun right now. Um, you're going to get the lightning in here. I tried to avoid the elite though. This is going to pair up with the smite. I don't need it. I will get until the divine bulwark in here. I'll get this one as well with the um, marching with the movement speed and as well as reload speed. What's great about the Aegis type because it's going to give you this thing in the camp skill, which is you're going to start with an Aegis, which is really good. That pretty much is a free, um, free compendium when you first start within the game. So I would pair this up with really, really well with a Volt Gun because of the Lightning is good complement for that one. 
Now, if you're thinking about getting that extra damage, you want to look into the dark type. It's a good complement as well with the fire type. All right, so now let's uh, rank this all up. This is kind of hard because everyone is going to have their own different opinion as we try to rank this. All right, uh, it really depends as well what type of gun that you're using. But I'll give you a ranking here that is in general. There are sometimes that there are specific, sometimes there's also specific one skill only in the specific type that I really like. So for example, before we get started with the ranking, with the numerical type, if I am going to be playing with a gun that has a lot of ammo, I will get the double barrel and I will avoid the other ones in here. Within the reload type, you know, I will get the reload type in a higher ammo capacity and sometimes i will get it for a lower ammo capacity as well so i can reload faster and shoot faster so like for the dark type i like this one in a scenario where i feel like i am going to be uh needing extra damage and i will go for the dark type so it's really hard to rank these because it really just depend on your playing style but i'm going to try to rank this as well um, if you don't like my ranking in here, you know, it's my own opinion. It's not saying that this is what you should do. Again, you know, when you watch these type of videos, these are just general guidelines, general ideas. So you guys can have, you know, your idea as well and formulate your own hypothesis as well as you finish watching this video. So first thing I want to say is the number one, the best that I think is the freeze type. Why do I say the freeze type it is so helpful at the end of the day when you have freeze type maxed out, you're going to have a huge amount of damage when they shatter. Like this one, the frigid domain is really good. You know, that's 10% of their max HP. That is not 10% damage, that's 10% max HP of the opponent. Now the elite drop, this is really good as well. Um, this cryo burst. So basically frozen target that triggers freeze takes additional freeze damage equal to 100% of your attack. I really like the freeze type, as I mentioned in the video earlier, is that the freeze type can work with any gun. So I think out of all the advanced skill, freeze type is the best. And I think you should get freeze type every single time that you can. The next thing I want to say is the fire rate type. Now, this is good if you have a lot of ammo. If you're going for crossbow, sniper rifle, you don't necessarily want the fire rate type. Although if you want to get the fire rate type, it will help you later on with the projectile. I would only get it if I really know that I need extra projectile, especially if I'm struggling on that stage and trying to eliminate the bosses. The next one I would say is going to be the fire type. I like the fire type. It helps me clean up the mob. Um, and it's also going to give you HP if you need the HP. But the most part is that it works really well with the Volt gun, which I am currently using, as I mentioned. It really depends on the situations that you are in. The next one I would say is the reload type. It's really good when you're playing with sniper rifle, uh, crossbow. The main purpose of that is you wanna, you know, cycle off your shooting. So reload type is really good. It's also helpful for HMGs and as well as um, the assault rifles as well. Now the next one in here is the EG's type. I think EG's type, again, works kind of well with the Vault Gun because of the lightning. So if you need extra damage, if you know you're not really going to get hit a lot, you want to get the EG's type. If you can really avoid, you're going to get that extra damage, you know, better movement speed as well. And at the same time, right, you get the reload speed, which is going to be helpful for either types of weapons that you're going to be using within the game. I try to avoid the Elite Drop. If you're not pairing this up with Smite, there's no point. I try to avoid this, honestly. Uh, this uh, divine bulwark is already good i get that one the next one is the numerical this one i would say you can move this into a higher rank higher tier um if you're playing with again a lower amount of ammo like awp or a crossbow you can use the numerical type typically if i'm playing as an ar i would really just only get the double barrel i try to avoid any other ones in here with the numerical type the HP is not something that I would recommend, although I will select this in comparison to trying to get a movement type and as well as a pickup type. You have a bot to do the pickup, so I rely on my bot. And in the movement type, you don't really need it, just like the HP type, really. Uh, the movement can help you, actually. Maybe in some cases, the movement type will be better with the HP type. You can run around the edges of the map and you can finish up the... Um, the the the, uh, the chapter with that one if you're trying to just complete the quest i typically like to finish out the stage sorry not quest finish the stage i like to finish up the stage 
and really eliminate the boss but if you just want to finish it and just run around then you can get the movement type speed as well it could potentially help you to finish it as well but really my recommendation is to focus on um having good damage type of skills or compendiums in here that will help you to you know that will help you to finish the chapter rather than relying on you know let me get extra hp or let me just run around the time because that's very stressful but if you have a good skill types in here you're going to survive that chapter so with that said i'm going to go and do one game in here we're just going to go with the challenge stage and so it's going to be a short six minute you know gameplay in here we're going to do level 21 here with the derelict refinery all right we're going to start this one so you're going to see what type of selections i'm going to do i'm not just going to talk about it in here i think it's not a good idea just to talk about it so right now i have three selections in here i'm going to go with the, i can you know go with the brute slayer because i know um, i'll need it later on but it's too early within the game i'm going to go for the rapid fire all right so i'm gonna walk around eliminate the enemies in here all right so um this is pretty you know it's very relaxing i really enjoy this game and then this one you know i can go for rubber bullets but i'm gonna start initiating the lightning all right i really like to have the lightning in here it is very very helpful with the vault gun i think vault gun is one of the really good investment to get in here so you see now that i chose lightning it's going to give me another option in here i know right around i think four minutes or so i think we see an elite so i'm gonna go start getting the brute slayer in here so i can eliminate the elite a lot faster uh, i know i can handle the mob in here i just gotta like move around a little bit there we go we leveled up again now i can get the eg's in here um i don't I, like i said i don't really need the run the movement speed in here i can either go for the double barrel but i will stop from there it will increase my spread this is also this is going to also help me um eliminate more as well so i'm gonna go with eg's having extra lightning that's going to help us all right help us clear the mob in here i can go for the projectile too honestly that would really help us clear as well but let's see uh what's the next one hp we're not gonna go for that one we already got the uh first in here the brute slayer so i'm gonna go with double barrel increase the uh projectile which is there's now two shooting in there very close though because the spread is being reduced oh i lost uh, hp there this the spread is being reduced because of the um the uh, brute slayer now the ricochet is helpful as well i'm gonna go with the fire uh fire type in here now i'm gonna go with the fire rate in here and bullet ricochet that's going to help us clear out I, I wish i can get fragmentation right now it would be very very helpful to have fragmentation at this stage you can see i'm struggling i lost two hp now i'm not gonna get that one so these like i said these are not one of my selections here i'd rather go with a curse type dark damage all right trying to avoid any more loss of hp sometimes you're going to struggle in the early stages in here and then eventually once you get your skills set up it is going to be a lot easier we're going to get freeze type i'm really not getting the best basic skills in here uh the basic compendiums which is really really difficult so you need a good foundation in the basic as well to to get it to get it easier you can see i'm going to be able to eliminate this boss a lot faster um i'm going to go with uh lightweight ammo I'm gonna lose hp i think i'm gonna have to reset here yep so there we go but don't worry that's why you got the ten dollar one but then this time we cannot lose anymore all right so i'm not gonna go for smite we're not gonna go for bullet we're gonna go for entrenched so i'm gonna get a lot of um see i wish i have fragmentation right now fragmentation would be so helpful right now and eg's we don't really need it i'm getting hit a lot i'm gonna go with this adrenaline yeah i don't really have the best um compendium right now i'm struggling <laughs> way to make the video all right uh let's see lightning strikes yes refill ammo yes that's what we need the less reload i do the better it will be all right so i lost a lot of hp because we were trying to build the the skills of the game and now i think we're gonna be in a good shape right now as i've already built up my uh my skills in here the foundation first enemy we don't need it elite we don't need it we'll go with burn 
All right. If we can get the meteor, that's going to really help us, you know, control the mob. And that's what we really need right now is to control the mob. You can see the bot is helpful. Um, we don't need smite. Yep, we'll go with fire damage in here. Hopefully, meteor will come down, and then it's gonna good uh, be a good pairing with my uh, lightning as well. Wow, we're getting hit so much right now. Or actually, we didn't get hit at all. The lightning is really protecting us right now. And um, reload speed. You know what? I'm gonna go with the um, divine grace instead because I know I can reload faster in that sense anyway. Um, yep, we got hit there, so we need to move around a little bit. So movement. Uh, sometimes I just like to stay in one place. It's kind of chill. But I need to move around a little bit to make sure that, you know, I got some ample space in here. All right. There comes the boss. We should be able to eliminate the boss. Paying attention to the time frame as well. 3 minutes and 29 seconds. Now, this is going to be huge. Oh, this is challenging. Do I go for area of damage or power shot? I really want to get the bullet fragmentation. But I think I'm going to go with the... Oh, man. This is hard. If I got this a lot earlier, I would go for the power shot, but now we're a bit too late into the game in here. We're going to go with the lightning in area. Hopefully, that will help us clear the, the mobs in here. I want to get the fragmentation. I need to get it later. All right. Oh, I got hit. That was my mistake. I got hit by the boss. So you can see we're going to eliminate that boss now soon. All right. There we go. The boss is dead. All right. We got two HP. This is going to help us out significantly. Uh, fire rate. I didn't think I saw this one on the compendium list earlier, but this is really good as well. Fire rate, max ammo, and that's it. We're solid in here. I got one last HP. I don't think. I think we're gonna survive because I was. That was we, we got really bad setup in here in the very beginning in here. Now I'm gonna add the withering glare. Let's add some range in here as well. All right, we should be fine. I don't. I don't. I'm not afraid on this one. Three minutes. Um, if I if I need HP, I will grab the HP. All right. If I see HP, I will grab it. I would think we really had a bad start onto the selection. Sometime, you know, you get a bad start. If you lose, you just have to kind of restart it, in my opinion. That's all you got to do. Um, I'm going to go with EGs being regenerated faster just in case if I get hit. And especially with one HP left in here. I'm not going to get the elite drop in there for the EGs because there's no point for that one. We don't got Smite. I'm not working on Smite. All right, so if I just in case if I get hit, but I really need honestly one more HP. If I'm being totally honest, we need one more HP. There is the boss or the elite and execute. This is really good. This is why we want to get this pat as well. And that will help us kill them off really fast. Like I said, I feel very confident with this one, even though we struggled a little bit in the beginning. Now we get projectile. Yes. All right. You just need to be very, very uh, careful with the movement, not to overrun too fast, and then kind of dive down, smash into an enemy. But you can see we have a lot of uh, um, fire rate and a lot of the electricity or the lightning that is happening right now is very helpful. If I can get an HP, if I had fragmentation, this would be really, really good. Damage type, that would be really nice. Um, yeah, freeze, that would be very helpful as well. All right. If I can just get one more HP, it would be really, really be helpful. Uh, but it's, 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 I like it. I like living on the edge, man. <laughs> I like living on the edge. But I'm very confident when we first started this. It was just like a struggle because of the starting um, starting compendiums that we got. It was it was horrible. Curse, pick up range, reload. We'll go with curse, you know, 90%, three times the effect. Yeah, we'll get that one. That's going to be really nice. And there comes the boss. Or that's the, another elite. All right. EGs, we don't need that one. Frostbolt, yes. We'll go with Frostbolt. So we can get the, um, uh, the, 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 the the max of the ice. We need it. Not necessarily I need the Frostbolt, but I just want to get the, um, uh, the Shatter, basically. All right. One minute and 70 seconds. This is interesting. <laughs> uh, living in the edge in here, guys. Living in the edge. Oh, okay, let's see. All right, finally. All right, let's get some bullet damage in here. We're going to be very helpful. I wish I could get fragmentation still. Up. It's a little bit too late for fragmentation. But again, it's one of my favorite ones to get. Here comes the boss. We should be eliminating this fast. I have no doubt this is going to be a quick one. Because we have the right, um, we have the right skills now. See, it's dead. 
See, when you select it, when you're confident, you're going to be fine. Um, we can do fire damage and freeze damage. We can do bullet damage. Uh, losing one plus one penetration. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with this one instead. Let's get higher damage in here. All right, 47 seconds. We're going to start seeing a bigger wave, I think, if I remember it correctly. We can use the fence as well to kind of block any incoming, like, um, mobs or waves. So I'm going to move around in here. We've eliminated about 3,000 of them already, all the enemies in here. And we're going to go with, uh, you know what, let's increase the lightning. I could go for Flint Meteor, but I don't, I don't feel like we need it anymore at this stage. I feel like we are in a very good position. 20 seconds left in here. Very easy. You know, I was... I was slightly worried, but it's not that worried, really. It's just I was trying to build the right skill, and if you don't get to build it early, it's very difficult. But you can see we're going to be able to clear it now. Eight seconds left in here. You know, that's it. Yep. Six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Finish. Easy. All right. So let's go and double the coin gain. Boom. Resume. And we got it. That's it. So hopefully, um, as I talk about it, and as you guys see the gameplay, it kind of understands you how I select the things in here. Um, at the end of the day, it's really up to you guys. You'll have to make your own conclusion um, on the things that I've shared because every, you know, everybody is going to have different playing style, different weapon types. But if you are playing with the same weapon type as mine, you can just pretty much follow the way I do things in here. Anyway, if you like the video. Smash thumbs up onto the video. It's going to be greatly be helpful. And I truly appreciate the, to the work that I put into making this video. Thank you. Anyway, I'll see you guys again next time.